For generations, we dreamed about a place to live and work in space, a place where life up there would benefit life down here. Today, that dream has come true. Research on the International Space Station improves lives all over the world. The station's benefits for humanity grow every day, and they can be told by the lives that have been changed. I grew up uh, out in the country in Indiana. Corn and soybeans were the main crops. I had always been interested in, in technology and in uh, science. Being out in the rural setting, there wasn't a whole lot of support for this. Space Jam is a, an annual weekend Boy Scout event, and we do all kinds of technology-based things. We have about a thousand people that come uh, every year. This is our seventh year doing it and it, it's a blast every year. The contact with the International Space Station was one of the driving forces that helped to create uh, Space Jam. In fact, the, the first Space Jam was really a, basically only about the contact. It was a dream of the ham radio operator to say, hey, let's, I want to talk to the astronauts on the space station. That, how cool could that be? That, that's the, the top of the game. Each year we call up the International Space Station and we give these young kids the opportunity to ask questions to the astronaut. Is it true that it will take over a year to get to Mars and back over? It absolutely is true. With the first time that I remember really having this real impression was um, I think the third year we did this. I was in charge of actually calling up the space station and establishing the contact. We were out in the middle of the night in a field, and I said, NA1SS, NA1SS, this is WB9SA, calling for a scheduled contact. Do you copy over? And I said it again, and all of a sudden, real crisp comes back, WB9SA, this is the International Space Station, how are you doing tonight? And we're like, oh, this is amazing. I graduated as valedictorian, and I was lucky enough to be admitted to Princeton with a complete scholarship, and I then moved to San Francisco, where I'm a software engineer. So I went from living on a farm to living downtown in San Francisco writing software for people. Uh, it was a really amazing experience to do all that. <laughs>